This segment of the Safe Injection Practices Review addresses injection site selection and skin disinfection. When preparing to administer the vaccine, start off by verifying the administration method for the particular vaccine. For example, is it to be administered intramuscularly or subcutaneously? Once that is determined, select and address the administration site. In adults, the preferred site for intramuscular vaccine administration is the deltoid muscle. For subcutaneous vaccines, use the area in the mid-third of the upper arm on the outer aspect. Whichever site is selected, you need to be able to clearly visualize the site of injection. That mean you, means your patient needs to expose that area. Take the time to allow the patient to remove their arm from a sleeve. That prevents a tourniquet effect from a tightly rolled up sleeve, resulting in injection site pain and excessive bleeding at the site. Once the arm is out of the sleeve, you can easily visualize the site and check the landmarks. For example, make sure you administer the intramuscular vaccine into the deltoid muscle and not too high and close to the shoulder joint. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle to the skin using a needle of sufficient length able to make it to the muscle. For subcutaneous administration, the needle is inserted at a 45 degree angle to the skin, so the vaccine is injected into the subcutaneous tissue and not the muscle. Take your time and make the patient comfortable. Talk with them about assessing the site. Use a sterile alcohol swab to disinfect the injection site skin area. Please avoid using alcohol-soaked cotton balls or unsterile alcohol swabs. Cover the injection site with a Band-Aid once you're finished. Allow opportunities for the patient to remain with you for a short period of time so you can quickly identify anxiety, fainting, or other immediately occurring adverse events. Give your patient the best opportunity to have a safe vaccination experience. So, let's talk about our take-home points. First, take your time assessing and visualizing the injection site. Make the patient comfortable, and that includes removing any constricting sleeves or clothing in the injection site area. Check your injection site landmarks and make sure you can easily visualize them. Disinfect the skin before injection using a sterile alcohol swab. And lastly, remember the elements of safe injection practice the CDC has stressed over and over, and that is never reuse any supply or equipment involved in the injection preparation or process. Remember, one needle, one time, one patient. Thanks for your attention during this segment of Safe Injection Practices. I hope that you'll take the time to look at the next segment. Mm -hmm.